Hi, my name is Jason Marcaselli from On Your Mark Fitness, and I just want to share with you some core training principles today. Uh, as we led up to Christmas, I saw a lot of different plank challenges where you'd gradually build up from 30 seconds to three minutes, and that's great. I think that's awesome to train your core, and I think that's very important. However, I think once you start getting beyond that 30 seconds, it just starts to become a little bit more about endurance and doesn't really have a lot of carryover to your sport. So say you play a sport like soccer or basketball where you have to have a quick change of directions. Studies have really shown that it, you have to be able to control your torso. And that just happens in one quick dynamic moment and then you restabilize and adjust to something else. Same thing in distance running. You would take a step so you'd be on one leg. Your body would balance and decelerate, stabilize, and then you would do the same thing on the other side. So today I'm going to show you two really simple progressions of a quadruped exercise meant to do work a little bit more on your reactive core. And again, these are very beginning ones, but these are ones that you should incorporate into your routine. The first one is just a simple quadruped. Notice for video purposes, I'm really arching my back. That's the first thing we have to get rid of. So really engage your core, embrace it. That doesn't mean suck it in, but keep your core tight. Head, neck, and neutral. And we can actually get a little extra work here for your tibialis anterior. If we keep our toes pointed toward our, our knees, we can actually get a little extra activation in there too and make the exercise a little harder. So again, no arching in the back, tuck that tailbone in, engage the core, and simply opposite arm, opposite leg. And that's just gonna be your very simple progression. The second one is we're starting to get a little bit more reactive. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get on all fours again, Again, you see that arch in my back? I'm going to get rid of that. What you don't see in my sneakers are my toes are flexed. So if these are my toes, they're going to be like that inside my sneaker. Or you could even do this with just socks or barefoot. Again, no arch in my back. And I'm simply bracing my core. Which imagine if you were preparing to get punched in the stomach. You wouldn't suck in to make yourself skinny. You would really tighten all the musculature there to really control and protect your in intestines. And that's what I'm asking you to do here, is get on all fours and simply brace your core and lift your knees up. There are other progressions of the quadruped. These are just two simple ones that I wanted to show you that you could easily add into your core routine. I mean, you can continue to do planks, that would be fine, but adding some reactive core exercises could really help you stave off injury. And that's quadruped progression.